What's up guys, it's Akila, and in today's video, I wanted to review the Makeup Shayla ColourPop collection. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know I love Makeup Shayla. She's like everything. She's everything. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Like, I've been following her for a very long time. I know before she had her make her YouTube channel, but she didn't used to post much, but she used to post on Instagram. I remember when she used to do brandy off of basketball wives makeup. Makeup shell is just bomb. Anytime I know she had like a, a collab with a brand, I always tried to go out and get it. Um, I even have the Maybelline City Mini, which I love this. It has a really, really nice transition color in here. I really love this palette. It's always on my desk. But now let's get into her collab with ColourPop. I love ColourPop and I love Makeup Shayla so putting those two together like I felt like this collection would be perfect for me. Here's the packaging for the palette. It's very pretty. It's like a matte black with um, paint dripping and then on the back it has all the product name and the lipsticks come in this really cute unicarton. So I got the palette, all of the lipsticks and I got one of the highlighters. I got the highlighter in Boomin. Here's the palette. This is the Perception palette by Makeup Shayla and ColourPop. When I first saw the palette, I didn't really like it that much. But seeing it in person, it, it's really beautiful. Here are the colors. Look at those so pretty it's like half brown nudes and then like the other half is like some colorful colors and i dig it i haven't used colors like these before on my eyes but i'm gonna try to today i'm not sure i don't know what look i'm going for today i already have my base for my makeup on i have on my foundation i contour the only thing i'm missing is highlighter lipstick and eyeshadow so let's get into it one color that i saw that i fell in love with i seen it on jackie Ina's channel when she tried out the palette was the color revenge revenge is so pretty it's like a brick kind of red perfect for like a transition shade i'm gonna go ahead and put that in my crease it is very pigmented like i've seen a lot of people say that and it, it really is I forgot to mention that this palette does have 16 shades and that's a little different for ColourPop. Next, I'm going to use the color Played Out, which is like the typical brown eyeshadow color. And I'm going to put that into my crease as well. I'm going to use the color Sassy on my lid. That is so pigmented and it's really buttery. Usually when you apply like glittery looks like this, you might need to apply like Fix Plus to make it look really bold and vibrant, but not with this shade. It's perfect without it. I really like that. Like I don't wear much color and I love this. I'm gonna add more played out into the crease to darken it up. I'm gonna take Revenge and put that on my bottom lash line. I'm gonna add eyeliner and then we're gonna move right along. Okay, in the collection there are two highlighters. Um, one is called Pose and the other is Booming. I picked up Booming. Booming is more of a golden highlighter, whereas Pose was more like bronze, a bronzy copper color. And I like gold on me. So let's see what it looks like. It's a loose highlighter, so it comes with a sifter and the little piece of plastic on top to keep it you know from going everywhere i'm going to take my morphe m500 highlighting brush and apply it to my cheek that is so pretty oh my gosh like i couldn't help myself when i got this package i had to swatch everything and when i put this on my hand i was like yo this is so pretty. This is like the perfect highlighter for my skin complexion. Like you guys know how much I love that Maybelline Master Chrome, but this next level. I just want to put it everywhere. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Okay, now we can move on to the lip shades. There are three of them. There's also a lip gloss, which I didn't pick up. I feel like I have so many ColourPop lip glosses, but I'm kind of regretting it. I kind of want to order it, but it's sold out at this moment. So when it gets back in stock, I will be picking up the lip gloss. 
even though I don't need it. But here's the packaging. It comes in a rose gold component and it says ColourPop with stars on it, which is typical because all of their lip lipsticks look like this. And the lipstick has like little stars on it. Really cute. This is in the color, come on sis. And let me swatch that for you guys. This is, come on sis really pretty when i was seeing it online i seen that it's a good dupe for max twig and this lipstick is six dollars it's a very nice mid-tone pink this like i made two orders but my original order i only ordered one lipstick that one lipstick was quickie like i felt like this is a color that i don't have in my collection and quickie is a, a light nude color yeah that's a very pretty nude let me swatch it that is very pretty. And the last one is called Ooh, which is like I feel like something that Makeup Shayla says a lot if you follow her on Instagram or you see her on her YouTube channel. That's like one of her sayings. Ooh is orange. It's a very pretty orange color which is something i also don't have in my collection so like when i first seen it online like the lips collection i already knew i was going to order every color i was being cheap when i ordered so that's why i only picked up one but i i'm really glad that i got all three and this is oh <laughs> i feel like i'm saying it wrong but here we go it's really pretty and orange I don't know which one I want to wear. I'm going to try on all of them for you guys. So you guys can see what it looks like on my skin complexion. I'm going to line my lips with ColourPop's BFF2 lip pencil. I'm going to try, ooh, first. <laughs> Let's see what it look like. Okay, here is ooh, and it's orangey. Like, I don't know. I'm not used to colors that look like this on me. And I'm not sure if it, the camera, mm, I don't know because in person it doesn't look as orange as it does on camera but it's a vibe i just don't know if it's my vibe yet but it's cute maybe if i was to put the lip gloss on top of it i would like it more okay let's move on to the next color the next color is come on sis For me, come on sis is like the typical color that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Like this is me. And I do think it's a very pretty color. Let's move on to Quickie. It's very pretty, but I feel like I'm missing something. The something I would have been missing would have been the lip gloss. I'm gonna add a darker lip pencil. I like it better with this darker lip pencil, but I do want to add a gloss to it. Like it's not complete. I'm gonna just pick up a gloss that's on my desk and this is the gloss, the Fenty gloss in face suit. Okay, this is more my vibe. This is more my speed. I love gloss. Okay guys, this is my final look. I really, 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 really like the look I was able to achieve with this palette. I dabbled in some color which is different for me and I feel like I still have a natural, nice look. It's really, really pretty. The color that I have on my lids, which is sassy, is amazing. It's creamy, it's buttery, it's very pigmented, and I really love Quickie as much as I thought I would love Quickie. And the highlighter is booming, just like the name. It's really pretty. Everything about this collection is really pretty. It's bomb. If you get the chance to get your hands on this palette, I really feel like you should take advantage of it. Like I said, it's 16 beautiful shades and I don't feel like you could go wrong with this palette at all. And another thing I found cool about this palette is like the names. She really took her time with these names like um, Spill the Tea, Unbothered, Strut and Slay, which is something that she says all the time, Thick, and Titus, which is this beautiful gray color right here, which is named after her dog, Stallion, because she says she's shaped and built like a stallion. I just love this palette. I really plan on getting plenty of use out of this palette. Like, I really think I might have to put my soft glam palette down for a little bit to get some enjoyment out of this palette. So yeah, if you get the chance, get the palette. Get the highlighter. Pick whichever one is suitable for your complexion. I feel like if you like my color or have golden undertones, definitely get booming. If you're more chocolate and you like that bronzy look, definitely get posed. If it's anything like this, I'm pretty sure it's beautiful. From the lipsticks, I know some of these colors might be a little hard for some complexions, but if you find a really nice 
lip liner you can make anything work out of the three i think quickie is my favorite which is the one that i'm wearing right now what can i say guys this is a very solid collection from makeup shayla I, I didn't expect anything less from her honestly so that wraps up my video Please let me know down below what you guys are going to get from this collection or what did you purchase already. And let me know if you got the lip gloss. Like, am I missing out on something? Like, I really need to know. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or want to see more content from me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.